Hello? Hello? What a pretty girl you are. Yes. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my dog. But I'm sure you're a pretty girl anyway. I am playing here AOBS versus Jules and he's playing what looks like a throne room backdoor version. Saw the stick kind of break out at the NPC. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so here's my hand. Seems pretty good for this match. Got all my activation. Although that's more accelerates than I would like. He gets his activation as well. So this is going to be. We're both going to be a little bit off to the races here. So, not the back door, the dense forest instead. Seems pretty good. I don't have any vehicles, but if I did, I couldn't attack him with them. That's a lot of exceptions. Alright, so my turn. I activate five fourth. Seeing as I have three accelerates, let's lead off by getting a bridge. There's the bridge. Go V. The palace is in my force pile. That's unfortunate. Let's see. Yes, yes, I know. Yes, you're a good girl. Yeah. So let's see, how do I deal with this? So I could use two for Vigo. That leaves me with three active, and I don't really have a way to spend three force other than getting an effect. Is there an effect I want to spend three force on? Not really. After I play my two sites, I'll be down to nine cards in hand. I could just draw three. That's probably the best. Okay, yeah, that's what I'll do. I accelerated first, so that should be the bottom card. And now I just draw three. Okay, and so I use the palace, so I'm going to have to be it out. Which is the same result as drawing it, basically. Actually, it's better for me. I mean, these three cards were. <laughs> I mean, these are two the worst two cards in my deck at this point. And this one is kind of helpful. So, it wasn't exactly the ideal cards I'd want in my hand, but it's kind of equivalent, right? Like, if I draw 
Shizar's Palace, that's one fewer of these three cards that I could have drawn. And I spend one force for it next turn, so it's essentially as if I had drawn it. So Luke's out, and that Luke, so he plays this Luke, huh? That's a great Luke. He's better on the table than Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, no question about that. Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight is better on the deck. Okay, and that looks pretty tanked. Wait, what? That deploys minus two to a four, so I see. I thought it was to Endor. Now, I do have ways to kill this guy. Not in hand, but I have them. Activate 12. So let's use the Vigo now. I know for a fact that Coruscant Jesus Palace is in my deck. So I get that. Do I also get the Uplink Station? No. I have activated the Uplink Station. Let's see, two Boba Fett Pounder. I'm looking for guys that can handle weapons. They are all in reserve. So hidden weapons are not happening. Not this this coming turn, of course. I mean let's see what it, Unless I want to force push for it, which I might end up doing. What else do I have? Right, so other ways to kill him. Four Lom. Cad Bane, so Cad Bane is active. But I mean, I pretty much need to play Gary here if I want to move the guys over. In terms of defense, I have one barrier active. Uh, program Trap is active. Another ceasefire is active. Okay, now a ton of good cards are active. So I think I'm gonna pull Gick as well. Let's do it now as opposed to later. doesn't really do anything for me. I'm not going to pay 3 to 4 strain and I am going to pull battle plan. It just makes Shizor vulnerable to attack before it. Actually no, they're going to move over. That way if he comes here and attacks I can at least counter attack. But if they don't move over and you deploy someone here, I won't have the benefit of these guys for the counter attack. Oh, right, he can retrieve. I'm used to seeing this one in Tiga where they don't have a force pile. So let's see, should I be... <sighs> I have no extra shield pillar, but is there another shield that I want? I kind of want resistance, maybe? No, I don't see how I'm going to be satisfying resistance against this deck. With my deck. So yeah, let's, let's pull secret plans. Most of the cards in my force pile aren't good. That is the worst card I could draw, I think. I guess it's slightly worse if I was stuck in force than 
in my hand, but it's not very good. I think I need to draw more cards. Cat Bane, that was probably the best card in my force battle, so it balances out. Let's draw one more. Ellis, okay, that's good. these two and one from reserve. There's four strain, which she's presumably going to drain me here. Drain to three is almost always worth spending three force on. Maybe Aobius should be playing always thinking with your stomach as a way to deal with Luke. He does? There's some. Oh! Did not know that. Two and four on the back door. Is Hantu and the Falcon is Narshada. So presumably he has more space than Hantu and the Falcon, but maybe not. He's got life debt. Maybe he's just relying on that for his space. Alright, so Mace is Probably, no, Anakin and, and Anakin's lightsaber, Mace and Mace's lightsaber. I only see one Mace window, so I do see. Okay. Oh, there's Spiral. So maybe it's Tant of his wall or something. See any Qui Gons of any kind, so he probably has an EP Qui Gon in hand. I'm guessing EPP because I don't see Qui Gon's lightsaber either. He might have a mace in hand, might have one in reserve or in force. Mace is a tough character to deal with, as is Luke. So drain a three, lose Sonic Bombardment, Sonic Bombardment. Vigo from reserve. Anakin joins Luke. primary concern right now is what do I do if he has hidden weapons canceler? That would make attacking him a lot worse. And I don't run sense in this deck, and it might be right to run sense in AOBS. I think most other versions of the deck do run sense. Activate 14. Now, let's see here. This 
So actually I could presumably have set up resistance here, but I pulled my last shield. Hmm. So in order for an attack to be successful I need to force push or someone who can hit him weapons. I need to cease fire. I need to hit him weapons. And no, no, it's just that's just not gonna be very good. <sighs> I could play Skyhook to space. Set up this, but then I'm still doing less damage than him. What if I just force push Ellis Cadbane Boba Fett ceasefire? That's actually not terrible. I'd have a power of 18, 26, and 3 destinies. 2 is 11 and 1. Of course, Fallen Portal would be really bad for me. Fallen Portal on Fat, but he'd need a 4. I wouldn't have any hidden weapons. <sighs> that would be really bad. Hmm. Hmm. I have no answer to Fallen Portal on my deck. I'm going to need to attack that site. I could hit him weapons too. Hidden weapons in a battle like that. Of course, Clash of Sabres could also be bad for me. Clash, or sorry about the, well, not sorry about the mess if the ceasefire goes through. So you need Sense and something else, or Fallen Portal, or Clash of Sabres. He's got 11 cards in hand. It's reasonable that he does it, but how? Let's see. Um, let's see. <sighs> the, the other question is, alright, let's pretend he has Fallen Portal. Will it get any easier for me to attack this site later than it is now? <sighs> and I think the answer is no. I think he builds up his force there faster and builds up his defensive cards faster than I build up my cards to get around him. So I think that indicates that I should attack now. And of course, there's a counterpoint to that, which is that... a program trap backed by O-Switch off... You could sense that. You could sense the O-switch off. But again, that opens up, up to the program trap. You could fall on portal. Yeah, but I can program trap that. Or I can O-switch off that. And I need to get a Destiny Tract, and right now I have no way of getting that number Destiny Tract. I could get a 5 Tract, but if he has four, by the time he has four guys out there, I probably lost. All right, let's go ahead and force push now. Or should I? I should verify my reserve, make sure there is a fat in my force pile. Hmm. There is not. There's a Django fed in my horse file. Let's see. 
program trap is in my reserve, but I can accelerate for it. I don't really have any... Yeah, pretty much all. I mean, I could put the program trap on Gary, but she's not really the ideal candidate to carry a program trap, and we build up my character as well, which I'm not super enthused about. So is it worth trying for Django? Let's see. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of nineteen make a character immediately re removed from battle. Only four have no effect whatsoever. So 15 out of 9 should not do something to Luke with Django. And possibly get even better than that. So is it worth force pushing for Django? Is the question. And I think the answer is yes. He still adds a battle lesson he win with Luke, but if I hit him weapons... If I hit him weapons and I capture Luke, I'll be adding to attrition. So I'll kill Anakin anyway. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. gonna play the site this turn so I'll return these two cards and I can search out the site next turn and I'll have a six in my deck. Let's go to the back door. Saying doesn't clash. That's more than I would like to have spent. Also, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have done that first, in case it gets sensed I don't necessarily want to do this. No, I think I still would. Yeah, but I probably should have done it first. So he misses the sense destiny draw, which is lucky for me. If it doesn't resense, that seems to indicate that he doesn't have a second sense, because I think he would, presumably. Or maybe he wants to save the second sense for the ceasefire slash and weapons. Alright, so. Ceasefire. I think a ceasefire for my reserve. Eh, maybe my use pile. Use pile. Yeah, I think my reserve is higher quality. My use pile does presumably contain the sky hook or whatever. Whatever that she's her pal uplink station. Wait no, so the battle is free. So I initiate battle. I guess I could lose one copy of We Must Accelerate Our Plans. 
and one card from use pile, which is hidden weapons. That's would have liked to keep the hidden weapons, but not a huge deal. So hidden weapons targeting Luke. Does he have the hidden weapons canceller? Shizor will seize. He's protected by Guri. That means I flip. So Django now no longer adds a battle destiny. But I feel like that's a worthwhile trade for me. Ugh. So I have power of 5, 8, 14, 19, forfeit ego here. So he has to either hujix this or lose a lot of cards. He's indicating that he's going to lose 11. And wants to concede. So, yeah, I think we're scooping this one up. This is working out better against mains than I thought it would, although... So Joe asked why I didn't Ellis before deploying, and the answer was I didn't consider that, but it probably wouldn't have been the better play. Or, I mean, so I was thinking of, like, barrier.
Cut that out. I don't like making decisions. I always let my opponent pick the side. Mostly because I play a lot more games than pretty much anyone I play, so they get to do what they want to do, and I get to do what I want to do. again. Let's see. He's playing light. He's actually playing Tigga. I saw his objective briefly. Let's play Entanglements. <laughs> That's almost not fair. Well, whatever. I'm going to play Entanglements. I haven't played Entanglements since the MPC and I love Entanglements. I've been playing so much AOBS, which is really fun. Actually, no. Let's play the AOBS again. No, do you want me to do something? Oh, alright, hold on.
Okay, so I'm pretty sure you can't hear the things that, oh, maybe that was not things that you were supposed to see there. Although it's publicly in the chat room, I don't think anyone whispered that to me, so that's not my fault. But yes, I am intensely curious about that. So yes, I need to... Are you working? There you go. Okay, good. Um, I need to get music on, because my mom's riding her bike. She likes to listen to the music when she does that. She listens to Bruno Mars on the radio, and I hate Bruno Mars. can't stand that music. So I need some music of my own to drown that out. And I think I'm not going to be sued into oblivion by YouTube for listening to music. Because I think you can't hear it. I have no idea how many times I've pressed W. 11. Oh, so close. Okay. Alright, so. I guess my Imperial City pull is going to be Guri. Which is kind of good, I guess. Alright, let's see. How do I kill Luke with this hand? Hidden weapons. How do I get the appropriate destiny tracked? I can't. And I have zero Twix or Twix pullers, which kind of sucks because I've got nine outs to a Twix, or eight outs to a Twix, one out to a one zero. But, I mean, these things do happen. It's not that much of a statistical anomaly. But it's unfortunate. Alright, so... What would be truly unfortunate is if I've activated Jesus Palace, because I can't really afford to... Yeah. Alright, let's just go ahead and... Vigo. Use Vigo. Hope I have not activated Chorus on Jesus Palace. I have activated Coruscant Caesar's Palace and the Uplink Station. Well then, that's unfortunate. Okay. So I have zero, uh, well, should I play the Vigo? I should play the Vigo. And is this Caesar's Palace? No, it's the Uplink Station. Okay, well, if I had John Caesar's Palace, all would be forgiven. At least I drew one of them.
Wait, it's probably here, right? Skype. And yes, the most recent file I downloaded was the... Oh right, he can drain there. Yeah, I'm gonna want Battle Order. And I do want Grabber in this matchup. English, yeah, English. Yeah, I downloaded the top four to try to figure out what was in my hunt down deck. I kind of remember what I took out for the Ellis, but I wanted to keep that. All right. What is this do? anytime it wants me to do an optional feature? I always think they're trying to scam me. Because usually they are. Usually they're like, "Oh, do you want free McAfee virus?" I'm like, "Okay, so let's instantly make calls by clicking numbers with this." Yeah, I don't want that. I'll just accidentally, like, click somebody and start Skyping them. I don't want... I de all right, I definitely don't want... See, these things are, like... These are so anti-consumer. I imagine all these un unsophisticated customers accidentally making Bing their search and MSN their homepage and being scared off of the internet for the rest of their life. Like, why, why are... These packaging deals should not be legal. They prey on unsophisticated consumers who will just mindlessly click away and then... <sighs> but I mean, I guess the argument is that's that's how they're able to provide this service for free is that's their revenue stream and that if not for it, they would not be able to provide the service at all. And I, mean, I guess I'm kind of sympathetic to it, but I... I wonder if there's not just a better pricing model, or just, you know, if that's not an inherent flaw in capitalism. Alright, one, two, three, so I activate five still. I play this stupid thing, so... Let's see, what now? We just draw. I'm falling so far behind. But I mean, yeah, I, there's no, there's no play I can make that's better than drawing. So I have Skype now, huh? I think I already have a Skype account. Oops. What? Why did you do that? I will, I'm on Skype. I was typing in Skype. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have showed you that. I definitely shouldn't have showed you that. Huh. Whatever. It's not like I showed you my password. But isn't that how streamers get DDoS all the time? Through Skype? But I'm not significant enough to get DDoSed. So, probably not a big deal. Alright, so I guess I just draw. Okay, that, that good. Those are good. Those are good. Do I just save the rest of this forest and try to r make a run at Luke with no weapons? Ugh, that's so ugly, but maybe I just need to. No, because even if I do that, I'm still behind if I don't get more activation. I need to draw for the activation. Uh, I mean, that is activation. Ember isn't especially good in this match, although he was great. We played this game yesterday, actually, and I 
I'd forgotten all about streaming, so I didn't stream it. Where um, he neighbored, no, he yeah, he neighbored Luke over to beat up Shizu, and Shizu died. Shizu was never on table for the rest of the game, and uh, we realized a few turns later, oh, I could just play the Emperor to the landing platform, and he can't drain or activate force with Luke, and he wasn't getting much force. He didn't find his Twix early the, that game like he did this game. And, uh, Emperor at the landing platform, and also he had, um, so I grabbed his first neighbor, and I made him top deck the second one some way, I can't remember. And you don't anticipate a third neighbor. Now, of course, if he's only neighboring once, and he still has the second neighbor, because you expect Tigger to probably play too, then it seems pretty bad to play Emperor there, because he just kind of neighbors Luke back, and you lose two a turn for the rest of the game, and I don't think you come back from that, but maybe. Yeah, maybe if you have him captured and losing two, but you're flipped because Shuzer is alive. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see here. Alright, so he drains me for two. I'm not going to use Search and Destroy, and I think I can get rid of one Emperor here at least. This is going to be a tough game here. What do I need to do to win? I need to kill Luke. I need to get activation. I have the tools to kill Luke, but... They want to stick, and I just... Yeah, I need... I just... I think I just need to draw again next turn. Well, I mean, it depends what he does. So he's going for space. Does that give me an icon? Or no? It's just it's just one light side icon. So actually it's he gets two light side icons now for there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I activate seven. <sighs> God, this is so bad. I'm getting drained two and two. I can't do anything about it. I just have to draw. Right? Yeah, there's no better solution. I wonder if playing Emperor first turn was actually right? Because you do... I mean, you, you take two a turn from his objective. But Luke is captured. So even if I capture him with a bounty hunter, I flip, huh? So that makes, actually, that makes hidden weapons a lot less attractive. Because a two or a three, yeah, he's captured, but now I'm losing two every turn. So wait, actually, what does the seven side say? In Las Vader is discarding Luke, okay. So it's not if a non-Vader non Imperial is discarding Luke or something like that. Okay. Hmm. Fuck, it just broke a glass.
really know better than to use glass things. Because I play with them. I just throw them around and can juggle them. It would make more sense to do that with plastic. And usually I do, but I don't know. I just get glass. Well, also, usually when I drop it, I drop it on the couch as opposed to the floor. But I was like leaning towards the floor, which was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. I guess I play this. Why do I play that? Grimtash? No, fuck that. Screw that. Sorry, Dorsh's kids. Um. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh, now do I just draw? This seems so bad. <coughs> hmm. Java's Haven would let me search for reserve. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Okay, there's the bridge. She's her palace, of course, is there. Okay, no security tower O3 accelerates program trap is there alright yeah I think I have to draw draw for the security tower so let's see what about other ways to kill so four lom In terms of space, Zuck is a mess hunter. So, Falling Fist and Ellis? Not Ellis, okay. Not enough. No, maybe. No, not enough. Not enough. Yeah, I think I just draw. <laughs> Although I'm not too far. Wait, what about O oh, switch off? Where's that? Or cease fire? I need to check those again. Cease fire. One, one cease fire. So we'll switch, we'll switch to the off right there. Okay. All right, let's just draw. Ceasefire. Are you serious? It's the bottom card. Okay. My game against Steve Salucci, I drew my entire force pile and I was thrilled because it was awesome. And we were still in the setup phases. <laughs> right now I'm getting drained 2 and 2 and I drew my entire force pile so I could get a Twix that I have 3 pullers for. I'm less thrilled. Alright, drain to a Coruscant. Let's see, do I want to lose this other Emperor? Yes, do I want to lose surface defense? No, not right now. Actually, I kind of don't want to lose Emperor either. a six I could put back if I flip and yeah let's just lose everything from reserve I don't like losing cards from hand unless absolutely necessary yeah let's lose from reserve barrier Boba Fett I'm on Skype.
So I'm pretty much sure my... I'm gonna have to Gary and Ellis. <laughs> God, I'm so behind. Oh, man. This is brutal. Yeah, I mean... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's play my other site. I mean, it's possible I activated both carries, so I guess I should job as haven first. I did not. Let's play Gary here. And of course, if he senses my Ellis, well, I've got control, right? Yeah. If he has two senses for my Ellis. I'm in trouble, but whatever. This is. We are all in on these guys going here and attacking these guys. That is the plan, and we're gonna save force to deploy all these guys in my hand. I got a lot of guys in my hand. Now, a lot of guys, a lot of stuff. My hand looks actually not bad right now. It's just uh, so far in that temple. Do I want first strike? I don't think I want first strike. No, I'll, I'll lose. Yes, first strike's going. Oh, that is four that I could put back for no. no. We need to conserve a little bit. I want I want to have more cards than life for us. I'm gonna need to lose some cards from hand. First strike's one of them. Oh, well, I could just lose it to yeah. I'm just gonna lose from reserve, at least for now. One, two. It's P59 force push, force lightning, grabber. Or we must accelerate our plans. I could no escape. I mean, I could surface defense for no escape. For we must accelerate plans for blockade flagship bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But that isn't even good for me right now. <laughs> like, not even at the amount of life force where I could use another Twix, really. Not that much. Maybe. Probably not worth the effort. I mean, so here's the thing. I'm like really far behind, but if I blow this site up, I'm kind of in it. Yeah. And then I've got a lot of stuff to deal with other stuff. Of course, Tant of a Corson is going to be a problem. I'm probably going to have to burn the control here, so I can't really set for stun Zuckus or something. And I'm so far behind, but... This is the turn for the Haymaker. 
Alright, here we go. Here we go. Ready for it? Ellis, come on. Come on, Ellis. Oh, brutal. <laughs> Grabs. And that's it. Alright, hold on a second. Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm doing alright.
I realize that I've been talking to a muted microphone for a while now. Um, you just missed more of me complaining about the luck, I guess. Not really, not really too much complaining, but a little bit. <laughs> so this is this is not gonna go very well. Let's hope that I can kill somebody other than Luke. Five, two, nope, just Luke dies. <laughs> Ugh. I've got 5, 11, 18, 20, I've got 24, 2 is 6, 9, 15, yeah, Joe, Joe's pointing this out, this is not, not exactly been the best of luck this game. And I can't even just forfeit Boba Fett. You know, 5, 11, 18, 24, 31. Right? 7, 13, 16, 19, 24, yeah. So, Fett dies. No, Vigo dies, Fett dies. Luke in 2. And here I get smoked. Ready for lunch? What's that? It's 2.18. So it's actually after when we usually eat lunch. But if you're not hungry yet, we can wait a little bit. I was thinking we could uh, work on making grilled cheese together. Do you want to try that? Okay, bye everybody. Um, stay tuned for more later, and thanks for watching.